What's up, everybody? It is your girl, Darlene McCoy, and I am chilling in the limo with Michael Vick. Limo. Oh, in the limo. What's up, baby? How you doing? I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm good. How you feel? I feel good. You know, I feel good to be back in the city, a place I once called my home. Right. Uh, you know, happy to have an opportunity to be playing football again, you know. So you do call Atlanta your home? Yeah, Atlanta is my second home, my home away from home. You know, I... You know, I just said on the radio station, you know, I, I always consider this my second home, you know, because, you know, I spent six years here, and that's a lot of time in your life to be in one place, and, you know, it's a great city. What are you expecting when you go on down the field tomorrow? Man, you know, I don't, I don't know what the reaction going to be, but I'm expecting a good one. You know, based off the calls in from the radio station, you know, I know it's a lot of people who feel, you know, like, you know, I disappointed them, but the, at the same time, you know, I stood up, I did what I had to do, and, you know, I gave this city a lot of great memories. I did a lot of great things for this city, and, you know, it was electrifying when I was down here, so I think they're still going to be supportive, and I, I'm, I'm just going to be, you know, in my own little world when I go out there and really trying to focus on the game. Right. I'm, I figured you would. I, I figured that, you know, because that's just what makes you the great leader that you are. You know what I'm saying? That's what made you great then. That's what makes you great right now is that you you have the ability to look past everything else and everything else that people are trying to throw at you, actually good or bad, and just focus on what it is that you're supposed to do. Um, so let me. I want to. I want to ask you this, Ben, because you know you were named like the best quarterback that ever played the game. Yeah. You've heard that before, right? Yeah. You know, I, I revolutionized the position. You did. You really did. I mean, that's just just keeping it real. So let me ask you, how does how does it feel from being the you know the go to guy to just have to kind of like sit back in line and kind of guide from third man in line? You know, it, it's different. It's it's a totally different you know uh, situation and you know a, a, a position that I never thought I would be in. But you know what, I kind of like it because you know I always you know, thought about it, uh, never thought it would come true, and it did. And I always wanted to know how I would react and how I would handle myself, you know, in that situation. I think I did a great job, and I think I'm doing a good job. And, you know, just being a team player because that's my role. Right. And and being a team player, but then, you know, you're a leader. Let me ask you this. Has, has Donovan McNabb had to come to ask you, you know, for some leadership advice? You know, Donovan's been in the league for 11 years, and, and – you know, he knows how to lead. He, he knows what it takes to be a professional, you know, and, you know, he's been doing it for a long time. And, you know, talking about a guy who knows the game inside and out and, you know, had a lot of success in this league. So, you know, I'm learning from him. Really? Yeah. So, you know, I'm only in my seventh season and he's in his 11th and, you know, he knows the game, know how to play the game and, you know, he do, does all the right things. And, and that's what I'm trying to do when I get the opportunity to be a starter again. Wow! Wow! And I, I don't, I don't think that opportunity is gonna be too far away because I do. I, I mean, I just had a feeling, you know, when when the news was released that you were available again. You know what I'm saying? That that people are like, oh my God, Michael Vick available? Man, I don't know. It takes time because you know you've been you've been off the field for a couple of years. You know, it takes time to kind of get worked out and trained and all that good stuff again. But um, I don't know, man. You ready for that? Yeah, I'm, I'm ready for it, man. I've been working hard to get back to the point and to feel the way I'm feeling now. Um, you know, it takes a while. I didn't think it was going to take that long, you know, but I want to be a starter again. I want to, you know, have guys looking, you know, towards me for leadership and, and, and you know, to making great plays out in the football field and, and you know, feeding off of me. You know, so yeah, cause you, that you know, I got used, I got used to it, man, and and I enjoy it, and and that's that's the fun part of the game. So I miss it, you know, but at the same time, I think you know now as I sit, it's just building up the hunger to want to come back and do everything the right way.